G'day. Uh, this is for forum member K Carring. Uh, I'm just trying to show him how you can measure the spatial resonant frequency of a coil without big elaborate equipment. So here's a circuit for it. I can't take any uh, uh, any credit for this circuit. It was given to me by Inquirit. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he would have designed it. If not, Dr. Stifler probably did. But yeah, so this is the circuit where this long wire here corresponds to this long wire that goes along there. And from that, we've got a tiny capacitor, which is this little ceramic right there, which goes to an AV plug, and then that goes to a capacitor there, and you measure the voltage across that capacitor with a normal multimeter. So right here, I've got my multimeter on the milliamp scale, or millivolt scale, sorry. So I'll just um, give you a demonstration. Oh, another thing I should add is that you, you should put this whole thing in an aluminium enclosure, and I'll just do that now. Um, if it just wants to stay still for a sec. So it should look like that, really, so that you keep out stray signals. Also, these ends should be closed up, but because I had to take it apart and just, just to double check the circuit, um, I, yeah, I, I'll need to patch that back up again. Uh, but, okay, here's a demonstration of how accurate it is compared to my oscilloscope with detecting the SRF. So, uh, oh, and, and just one last thing I should add is that my readings are going to be thrown off quite a bit because I've got a lot of shit around here. I mean, I've got all this around. I've got a laptop sitting there. My multimeter is well within a foot or about a foot away from this coil. I'm quite close to this coil. So really you want it to be as isolated as you can. Okay, so we're on 17, I mean 14.7 megahertz right now and we're at 14.6 millivolts. I'll just tune around, so at 14.8, and that doesn't seem to, we're at 15. Okay, so it seems, so 14.4 megahertz is where I found my peak in this. Um, I'll just really detune it and you'll see So it sort of sometimes it can peak earlier. Um, I'll just try and find exactly what I'm talking about. Right, sort of in the lower end. So there, but you've sort of got to use a bit of logic, which tells you that the spatial resonant frequency of this coil is not going to be 2.7 megahertz. It's going to be a bit larger than that. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that happens. But it does happen, and it's something you've got to um, take, make note of. I mean, it's worth making note of it rather than spending two grand on really expensive equipment. Anyway, so I'll just borrow, I think we're at 14.6. I'll just make sure of that. Um, Yep, 14.6. Okay, so now I'll measure it with my oscilloscope. Just wait for the warm up. <clears throat> Let's play with the, we'll get these settings right. Okay, so that there, so 14, oh, it's saying 14.7 here, but that's still pretty close, I mean, there's 14.6, so I'll just play around, so see, so we get away from that, oh, this is finding it at 14.4 megahertz, and I'll just go down and you'll see that it 
and either side. So there's our 14.4 megahertz we found on this and we go either side and it sort of drops off. Spikes up there but it's still that's not as big as 14.4. You've got to find the biggest spike you can. So it sort of dies off as, and there we're at 19.1. So you can see that it gives you fairly accurate readings. I mean, it's not going to be as accurate, I don't think. But, I mean, you get what you pay for. But you certainly, this little circuit here is not going to cost nearly as much as that big circuit there. So, yeah, it's well worth the small investment. So, I hope you can build something useful from that, Kyle, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. See you later.